Well, hi, my glorious year two gammas. The point of this video is to show you what the point of this part of the interactive image is. And the point of this part of the interactive image is to give you an idea of what are we doing big picture in math class for the week. And then also why, why are we learning this stuff? So in this week's math class, we are going to talk about the fact that when you were little, your teachers only talked to you about whole numbers because your head might have popped off if we started talking about breaking a number down into decimal or fractional parts. Well, this week in math, in our year two group, we're gonna be talking about decimal amounts that go all the way to the thousands place. Now, the place value chart for decimals is something you might just have to memorize, but we're gonna do a lot of things with models and explore just how this works. If you had a $1 bill and you broke it into 10 equal pieces, you would have a 10 or a dime. If you took that dime and you broke it into 10 equal pieces, you would have a hundredth or a penny. And then if you took a penny and you broke it into 10 equal pieces, which we have no coin that small, you would have a thousandth. And in fifth grade, we go all the way to the thousandths place as we explore decimals. You'll go further when you get to middle school. And again, that place value chart is just something that you'll remember, you'll learn to memorize those places. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna do a lot of that with decimal models because it will help you understand how this works. If that rectangle is one whole, I can tell that I have one tenth because it takes 10 equal pieces to make that whole. Just like if this was one whole, this green rectangle, if I had one of those little pieces, it would be a hundredth because it takes a hundred of those equal pieces to make up the whole. So if I had three of those shaded, for example, a lot of kids will just put 0.3 because they think, oh, it's a decimal and I have three of them, but you don't have three dimes, you have three pennies. And so you'll be relying on those very important place holding zeros as you go along the way. Now in math class, we're gonna end up having to go through some of the logistical stuff because this is our first week together. So one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our math notebooks and I'm also gonna show you how I'm going to try to help you along with notes so we don't have tons to take in class because that can get kind of boring. And then the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this interactive image that we're looking at right now to show you like what tools and resources are available for you there. And then last but not least, we're gonna go through the choose your own adventure of your PNP. Now listen, on your um, math interest survey, many of you told me that PNP was not your favorite thing in the world. And I remember that feeling very well in my own life. Um, I will do my best to make the PMP as entertaining as possible. It's gonna look bigger than you're used to, I think, because I like to make things graphically. And so it's very spaced out um, and you're gonna have some choices. So we'll talk about that, but my goal is to make it not as painful um, because that independent practice is actually really important for your brain to kind of give it a try on your own. It's like taking the training wheels off a bicycle. Okay, well, I am so excited to jump into the math, and I really can't wait to get started with you guys.